Chargers, hope you had a wonderful break. I'm Olivia Devenny. And I'm Ethan Coster. Today on DP News. Voting for senior bests. All school lip dub. And more. DP, DP News, News starts, starts now. now. Did you go to the snow during break? If so, your photos may be featured in the yearbook. Just email your pictures to mwilliams18 at dpnews.org with your name and grade level. The All School Lip Dub will be next Friday, January 15th. In order to maximize student involvement, the Lip Dub will be extensive this year, resulting in a longer lunch period. Make sure you participate in the Lip Dub with your club or group. We will be doing a total of three songs, so make sure you get everyone involved. Attention seniors, if you've subscribed to Senior Text, then you may have already voted for Senior Best for the yearbook. However, it is not too late. You can vote once through January 8th, 11.59 p.m. at dospueblos.votingforschools.com. That is with the number four. Again, the link is dospueblos.votingforschools.com. The Santa Barbara Central Library seeks volunteers for youth services help program. Teens interested in helping elementary school students with reading and homework will need to attend a one and a half hour training to prepare for this opportunity. The next training will be on Saturday, January 23rd from 1.30 to 3 p.m. The training will take place in the island room of the Santa Barbara Central Library located at East 40 Annapamu Street. Volunteers will assist with children's reading and or homework, commit to volunteering two to four hours a week, and sign up for a shift. Teens need to be at least a sophomore in high school, maintain a B GPA or above, and provide a letter of recommendation from a teacher. To sign up for this training, please call the children's desk at 805-564-5603 and provide your name, email address, phone number, and whether or not you are a teen or an adult. Many exchange students from Australia are visiting our campus on Friday. Make sure to say good day. Have an awesome Tuesday, Charger. Ethan and Olivia signing out. <laughs> now over to Nico and Ashley with your sports. Chargers, I'm Ashley. And I'm Nika. Here are the sports report. Boys basketball had a successful break ending with an overall score of one of 11 to 4. Tomorrow they play Moore Park here at 7 and they play K King and Country here at 7 on Thursday. Girls basketball also had a successful break beating Simi Valley High School 64 to 39 and lost against Orange County Timberwolves with, with a final score of 40 to 30 leaving their overall record 11 and 4 to ring out the new year. Boys soccer played four games at the Marina High School Tournament. They tied three games and beat Bonita 3-1, leaving their overall score 8-2-5. and five. Girls soccer played Santa Maria and Santa Margarita over the break. Our girls destroyed Santa Maria Saints 10-0. Later in the break, the girls were unable to score against Santa Margarita, losing 2-0. Their overall record is 1-4-2. and two. Our girls play Ventura on Thursday at 5. A big congratulations to our football players, Manny Nuasu, Blake Irwin, Eric Botello, and Chris Nago for making the 2015 All-City football team. Wrestling has a dual meet against San Marcos here at 7. That's all the sports for now, and over to Jeffrey with the next Chow Challenge. Righty, thank you, Nico and Ashley. My name is Jeffrey Chow, and I'm here with another Chow Challenge. And I'm challenging varsity captain of the wrestling team, Ryan Fidel, to a match of wrestling. If Ryan, if I could last one varsity round with you, what will I get? I'll give you my letterman's jacket. A letterman's jacket? How many patches? Two? <laughs> Let's go.
NDP, I'm Nandini Braganza, your current events reporter. On New Year's Eve, a huge fire engulfed a 63-story luxury hotel in the city center in Dubai. The authorities in Dubai are trying to find out what caused the fire. The fire broke out at about 21.30 local time and appeared to engulf much of the Dressy Hotel, a five-star hotel and apartment complex, within 10 minutes. After battling for more than 20 hours, firefighters extinguished most of the blaze. The tower was evacuated and 16 people were hurt. The cause of the blaze, which is said to have started on the 20th floor, is still unknown. Now over to Lizette with the weather. Hey there, DP. Today's temperatures will be 54 degrees. Tomorrow's temperatures will be 58 degrees. And Thursday's temperatures will be 59 degrees. It'll be raining like this all week, DP. So be sure to wear a jacket and bring your rain boots. The surf today will be 5 to 8 feet, with 8 feet being the highest point at noon. Why does Snoop Dogg need an umbrella? Faux drizzle and a Lil Wayne. I'm Lizette with the weather signing out, and we'll see you on Friday, DP.